If we were to even out this part of the skin with dodging and burning, what would we do? We would create a brand new layer, we would take the brush and decrease the flow to about 1 or 2%, change the blend mode of this layer to something like soft light and just start painting the dark areas with white and the bright areas with black. That's all. And we are painting, we are still painting. Let me fast forward this for you. Now after a while, this is the result you get. Here's the before and here's the after. Look at the texture, it's amazing. Here's the before, here's the after. The texture stays intact, it looks absolutely natural and there's nothing wrong with that. This is what you would use if this was a cover of a magazine or maybe somebody paid a lot of money to do it or a big part of your portfolio. However, the only problem with this method is that it's gonna take you a while. Now let's use a revolutionary tool to do the same thing. So this was dodging and burning that we did, let's name it DB. Let's turn it off and create a brand new layer. And this time we're gonna use the remove tool right here. This is absolutely brand new and you wanna make sure that sample all layers is checked and just paint over the area which you wanna make even. That's all. This is all we did and there you go, fixed. Now it's not gonna be as good as dodging and burning of course but you have to be realistic right now. Now keep in mind this was absolutely not possible before. Let's turn off this layer, let's create a brand new layer and before the remove tool, we had the spot healing brush tool, right? So if we try the same thing with the spot healing brush tool, have a look, it's gonna absolutely mess up. So this, my friend, is just the tip of the iceberg. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three super fast, high-end style skin retouching techniques, and all of these techniques are gonna take you less than five minutes, with one, some of them even seconds. And the third technique will blow your mind. So without any further ado, let's get started. back in the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download any of the photos and follow along, you know what to do, check the links in the description. Now the first technique is using the remove tool. Usually what do we do? We remove the blemishes with either the spot healing brush tool or the patch tool or your favorite method and then we do dodging and burning. The idea here is to use the remove tool not only for blemishes but for small scale unevenness and then use dodging and burning for the big stuff. Trust me, this is fast. As we did before, just create a brand new layer, pick the remove tool from right here. By the way, you wanna make sure you have updated to the latest version of Photoshop to access the remove tool and then just paint over the uneven areas and the blemishes as well. So in this case, I'm just gonna paint right here. Now, as you do paint, you also wanna make sure that sample all layers is checked right here. Now. As you're working with the remove tool, make sure not to paint a super large area. If you do that, it's gonna create that AI texture. You see that? That's, that's kind of AI garbage. You don't want that. Just do small areas at a time. So as you can see, if I paint right here, how beautifully it created that line, that was not possible with any of the tools before. Once you feel like most of it is done, just zoom out and check for unevenness. So I see an unevenness right about there, so I'm just gonna paint over it. And this, my friend, is a very quick edit. So here's the before, here's the after. You see the difference again? Before, after. That's a huge difference. Now for the bigger areas, you would do dodging and burning. For example, straightening the nose. So let's create a brand new layer, and this time we would take the brush tool. You wanna make sure the foreground color and the background color is black and white. You can always press D if it's something else. Let's say, if it's red and the background color is something else, you can press D to set it to defaults. And then with the brush tool and the flow at 2%, you can just paint over these areas. Also, you wanna make sure this dodging and burning layer that you created, you would want to change its blend mode to soft light. Otherwise, you would be confused what the hell is happening. Now for the nose, I'm gonna darken this area to make it straight and add a little bit highlight right here and darken this area again. And just with a little retouch, here's the before, here's the after. You see that? We straighten that. Also, right here, there's too much darkness, so we can brighten it. Nothing major, this was super quick. So, here's the before, here's the after. So with a tiny change in approach and a little practice, you can bring this entire process under five minutes. So here's the before, and here is the after. And the best part is, it looks natural. There are lots of techniques, actions, and even filters in the market that make the skin look like a wax statue. We don't want that. If you're a professional and you're making money off of your shoot, and I underline, only and only if you're making money off of your work, whether as a commercial photographer or a retoucher, only then I recommend this if you wanna create incredible results 
and save time at the same time. So there's this plugin I use personally, hands down recommendation, and actually you can try it for free. So all you have to do is to make a copy of the background layer, and the series of plugins is called Retouch For Me. So go to filter, once you install the plugin, you'll find it right here. By the way, if you wanna try it, go to this link, get the trial version, download it. The instructions are in the description. Retouch For Me, let's start with Retouch For Me Heal it automatically removes all the blemishes. So here at the top, you have the sensitivity slider. It decides how many blemishes are we removing. So very few blemishes right here and all the blemishes right here. You can choose to make a mask by checking this and just simply apply. There you go. All of the blemishes gone. Wanna have a look at the before and after? So here's the before, here's the after. Did you notice? Here's the before, here's the after all of those little ones gone. So in some cases when there are freckles, you might wanna keep them. So for it, you can simply create a mask right here, take the brush, take a soft round brush, make sure the flow is at 100, and just erase it in this area where you want it some. See how easy it made removing all of those tiny blemishes, but that's not all. So if we create a stamp visible layer at the top by pressing Control, Alt, Shift, and E, in other words, a merged layer of everything you see in the canvas, then let's go to filter, retouch for me again. And this time, let us choose dodging and burning. Yes, it does high-end dodging and burning automatically for you and everything is adjustable. There you go, it's done. So this is no dodging and burning. We can increase the blend slowly and gradually and this is all the way to the right. This may be way too much. So you can choose how much dodging and burning you want to do. I'm gonna keep it at about 132%. You can also choose to increase the warmth right here but I'm gonna keep it the way it is. And you can choose to create a soft light layer instead. Click on apply, and there you go. A gray layer is created. See all the dodging and burning being done? Everything automatic. Just change the blend mode to soft light, and it's done. It keeps the skin texture, it is natural. And just take a look. Here's the before, and here's the after. And the professionality, if that's a word, is amazing. On top of that, you can retouch the eyes, remove the veins of it. In fact, I've created an action that plays a series of retouch for me actions. By the way, you can download it absolutely for free. And we had made a video about it as well, which you can watch after this video. Now, once you've got many of them, some of them are for straightening the fabric of the cloak for cleaning the backdrop, mattifiers for removing the highlights. Then you have one for the skin tone, one for whitening the teeth with just a click of a button. Once you have them installed, all you have to do is to play this action that I created, Piximperfect Auto Retouch Actions. And there are a list of a lot of actions right here. For example, if you play the basic action, it will do the healing automatically, it will do dodging and burning automatically, it will add volume to the portrait, it will also Retouch the eyes, let's play this one. Let's select the basic one and play it. And it's done. And with just one click of a button, first of all, let us take a look at what it did. So it created separate layers for different procedures. First of all, it removed the blemishes. So here's the before, as you can see, and here's the after, all the blemishes gone. Before, after. Now on top of that, it did dodging and burning. Let's turn it on, there you go the skin is smoother, and then it added depth to the portrait. So here's the before, here's the after, take a look. Now you can increase the opacity if you wish to. By the way, if you wanna take a look at the layer, here's the layer, it did contouring right here. Now let's change it back to soft light, and you can have it more, less, it's up to you. So I'm gonna keep the opacity at about 52, that's fine. It cleaned up the veins in the eyes. So here is the before, as you can see this was there, here's the after. Now. I would have loved if it did it completely, but for an automatic action, that's more than enough. So here's the before, here's the after. On top of that, it added contrast to the eyes. So again, before, after. So all of this with one button, it can do more with just one button. So here's the before, overall, and here is the after. That's a glamorous retouch, keeping everything absolutely natural. Now again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. For example, if you play this action, it will do all of this process. It will also correct the skin tone, also fix the backdrop, also sharpen the entire image. So 
all your images with just one click. If you want to learn more about it, in this video we talk about creating a workflow where all you have to do is to dump hundreds or even thousands of your images and Photoshop will automatically process each and every one of them, retouch them beautifully using these plugins and all you have to do is to sit back and relax. And if you have thousands of images, just take a nap. Retouch for me is running a 30% off for Pixel Perfect viewers for a very limited time, maybe two or three more days. So if you are interested, check it out. Also, at the moment, I would recommend just get the trial version. Look at the description. We have the instruction on how to get it and then just put in your images, see the kind of results you're creating and see if it's worth it for you. Moving on to technique number three and this has been one of my recent favorites and it uses frequency separation but in a much more unique and modern way. The way to do it is that first of all, you would remove the blemishes either by using the remove tool, the spot healing brush tool, patch tool, whatever you like. Do it fast, either remove tool or spot healing will do. So here's the before and here is the after. Little blemishes were removed but the skin is still uneven, there are eye bags we need to take care of and over the forehead as well there's lots of unevenness. So let's apply the frequency separation action. You can download this for free, I'll link it up in the description. So here we have Piximperfect frequency separation. First of all you need to look at whether your image is 8-bit or 16-bit. So this image is 8-bit, you can tell by looking right here or you can go to image mode, see what is checked. 8 bits per channel is checked. So let's play the 8-bit action. Now you need to set the radius so that the skin texture goes away inside of the Gaussian blur that will show up. So you can decrease the radius all the way to the left hand side, slowly and gradually increase it and stop at the point where the skin texture just goes away. So in this case it would be about 8.4, hit OK and your image is separated into two frequencies. So here's the high frequency which only has the texture and the low frequency has the color and the tone. We just have to work with the low frequency. And how do we do that? Just make a copy of the low frequency layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Then turn off the high frequency, zoom out and this is what we have to fix. So how do we fix it? Use the remove tool and this time we don't have to worry about painting large areas because this is already blurred and the texture is on a separate layer. So if there's eye bag that's bothering you, just paint over it. It's fixed. Similarly, let's paint the rest of the areas. Simple strokes here and there, that's all just with little touches here and there. Let's turn on high frequency and have a look at the skin right now. So here is the before and here is the after. Look how easy that was. If you were to do it with dodging and burning, imagine the kind of time it would take. So overall, here's the before and here is the after. Hell of an improvement. So that my friend is frequency separation with the remove tool. I just did a few strokes, usually it takes less than five minutes and we are good to go. So those are the three retouching techniques when you want to keep the process super fast and also keep it natural at the same time. The first technique was using the remove tool not only for blemishes but for small scale unevenness and then using dodging and burning the simple one where you create a new layer, set its blend mode to soft light and paint with white and black. You use that for the bigger picture. That's all. The second technique uses Retouch For Me plugins and you can create an action for it. I have already created it for you. You can download it by using the link in the description. So once you get those plugins, just with one press of a button, it will do the entire retouching routine for you. I highly recommend just trying it out for free. Here's the link. And the third technique uses frequency separation with the remove tool. You first remove the blemish and then inside of frequency separation for the low frequency layer, just use remove tool to remove the unevenness. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. We're up here on cloud nine.